Please subscribe for more videos. Welcome, I am Dr. Kamran Sandhu from Business Management and Research. In this video, you will learn Crossbase theory about total quality management. Philip Crossbay formulated a program for total quality management. Crossbay 14 steps rely on the foundational thought that any money a company spends upon quality improvement is money that is well spent. In Crossbay's theory, he cites four absolutes of quality management. Number one, we define quality as adherence to requirements. Number two, prevention is the best way to ensure quality. Number three, zero defects, mistakes, is the performance standard for quality. Number four, quality is measured by the price of non-conformity. Fourteen steps to continuous quality improvement for Crosby are Number one, attain total commitment from management. First and first, management must be dedicated to enhancing the company's quality. This commitment must also be visible to all personnel in order to model suitable attitude towards a zero defect product or service line. Number two, form a quality improvement team. The second step in establishing overall quality management is to form a quality improvement team. Look for team members who are devoted to quality improvement and are not already overworked on other projects. The quality improvement team should be able to commit to quality improvement in a meaningful way. Number three, create metrics for each quality improvement activity. Before you can devise a strategy for increasing quality, you must first determine where your products and services are in terms of compliance. As a result, Crossbay's third stage is to assess quality, determine where there is area for improvement and where improvements can be made. Number four, determine cost of quality and show how improvement will contribute to gain. How much does quality cost? You may demonstrate to all company personnel the need for a quality improvement system by answering these questions. Describe how the cost of quality fits into the broader business strategy. Number five, train supervisors appropriately. Ascertain that your supervisors are capable of performing the responsibilities that are expected of them in order to preserve or save quality. You will be more likely to achieve zero defect status if your practice supervisor training with quality in mind. Number six, encourage employees to fix defects and keep issues long. You should form a committee to ensure that your products and services are free of defects and flaws. It's not enough for Crosby. Remember to have as few as visible flaws. Instead, set a zero defect tolerance in your organization and keep this figure at zero. Zero defect commitment, as I explained, ensure that employees and supervisors understand the steps to quality. Employee understanding of the need of the quality management will need to be raised. You will boost the possibility that your quality improvement initiatives will be accomplished if you do this and make quality a major focus for employees. Determine root causes of error, remove them from processes. Following the implementation of a change, you must guarantee that everyone, including employees, supervisor, are included in the goal setting process. You may ensure more commitment to reaching zero faults by involving everyone in the firm in setting improvement goals. Goals are set on 30, 60 and 90 degree. Following the implementation of a change, you must guarantee that everyone, including employees and supervisor, is included in the goal setting process. You may ensure more commitment to reaching zero fault by involving everyone in the firm in setting improvement goals. 
determine root causes of errors, remove them from the processes. Error cause elimination is required for any quality improvement effort to be effective. Encourage your staff to bring any hurdles or issues that encounter while seeking to reach improvement target to management's attention. You may avoid many of the stumbling blocks to quality improvement efforts by having staff communicate issues before they become crises. Number 12, create incentive program for employees. You have to reward your employees after doing good work and good performance. Create a quality council and hold regular meetings. The second step in establishing overall quality management is to form a quality improvement team. Look for team members who are devoted to quality improvement and are not already overworked. The quality improvement team should be able to commit to quality improvement in a meaningful way. Finally, you have to repeat all above steps. Thank you very much. I hope today's video is helpful to you. Please don't forget to subscribe, like and share. Best of luck.